So many people today seem to think about a border as a place of confrontation, a place of violence. And that is not our experience here, we who live on the border. This is a place of encounter, a place where families uh, live on either side and, and reunite on one side or the other when they're able. Uh, this is a place of uh, commerce. Without the uh, trade that happens across this border, we would not be the same place. And so uh, we're celebrating the greatest sign of unity at a place that really should signify our call to be united across whatever kind of things divide us. Sadly, many people in our country really have been sold a narrative that says we need to fear those who are coming, uh, that uh, this is a place that, that should put up a wall that can't allow uh, people to really pass freely. We hope that we can show a different possibility and uh, it's really a possibility based on what we're taught in the scriptures, based on what we learn through the teaching of the church, that we are one body united in Christ, called to be a family of God. We say those words, they trip off our, our tongue, but so often we fail to think of the implications of that. A political border has a usefulness, but it should not separate us. I hope that uh, witnessing the events that take place here will help everyone who listens to take a new look at this, a new perspective. And of course what I'd love to do is invite them to come to El Paso uh, because uh, once you are here, once you see what our life is like, you see that there are other possibilities uh, for the border. Once you meet a migrant or a refugee and hear their story, your perspective will change. So come and visit us.